it really reflects the uh, what I've seen over several years and several types of backgrounds, and it um, the inspiration is trying to provide a framework for this generation and perhaps future generations to actively engage in a career plan uh, using discipline along the way so that uh, they're prepared uh, to take on the top responsibilities of an organization um, and do so without too much concern about uh, the latest fad of cutting corners and all these other things which uh, reflect values and uh, to a greater degree uh, the ethics of, of work which were not present uh, 20 or 30 years ago. I really dislike the idea. I, I don't think uh, that's really the position a CEO should take uh, in terms of his or her job. In, in, my, in my estimation, uh, the job of the CEO is to come into a situation, take those responsibilities, and when he leaves, or when she leaves, uh, they're gone. But they have uh, fulfilled, almost like the mechanic in the boiler room, they fulfilled the job of taking the company to a higher position when they, when they first assume the job until the time they leave. And then they leave that uh, for the next person. In other words, they're just one person, just like one president in a series of administrations. Uh, and to um, focus on, on uh, them as a celebrity or, uh, um, or, or something else that is not akin to the business, I think, is a mistake. First of all, there's increasing government controls. Uh, and, and they are not very well defined. Uh, so that's left to the board or the CEO or someone to come up with defining those definitions in terms of their specific business. Uh, that's a challenge. Uh, a board of directors is a, uh, is a, um, a term that varies almost uh, in direct number of the number of companies you're talking about. Um, I think in the past the board largely was uh, uh, a part-time advisory service. Uh, the CEO put together a plan, a strategic plan for example, and he presents it to the board, if he did anything at all with it. Uh, and the board looked at it and said, well, Joe, I think that's a, a great idea. I, th I think that's fine. Um, and they really didn't uh, critique um, that plan uh, very much. Uh, whereas in terms of the, uh, the audit committee of the board, uh, that was a little more serious uh, activity even 10, 20 years ago. Now, today, uh, I think the, uh, the board with the lead chairmanship and the lead candidate for the board itself, uh, before you find a person to uh, agree to be a nominee for the a board seat, uh, he or she is going to think increasingly long about what this is going to mean. Uh, now, today, there's liabilities for board members. 20 years ago, no direct liability at all. But you, you have the chairman and CEO, if it's a vested in one individual, and then you have the president. Uh, I look at uh, an organization as uh, the Mr. Inside, if you will, the Mr. Implementer, the quasi-manager, which I think is even a little bit lower than that, as being the president. Uh, his job is to uh, certainly work with the CEO and the chairman and the board uh, in developing strategic plans, et cetera. But the implementation of those plans and the control of those plans is vested largely in the president. The CEO uh, has a responsibility, as far as I'm concerned, as a visionary, uh, the term you used. I think he is uh, responsible for saying, today the company is here, today the market is here, today the uh, global economy is here. How is this company, how is this organization going to function to succeed in that environment? five years, eight years, ten years out. Uh, that is his job as also to control what's going on within the organization itself.